Hey guys, it's James again from Black Hat Community. This part of the Black Hat Community Premium section is going to be all about scraping Google. In essence, scraping Google is a vital technique as it's obviously the platform we're trying to rank in. If you can pull thousands of URLs a second, in the actual platform our target users use every day to perform their searches, you know, you're a serious advantage than every other SEO agency on the planet. If the only links that you can build are easy to acquire and PBNs, you know, private blog network links, your life expectancy in this industry will be very short and limited and you won't be able to cater or even deliver on anything else and you'll be extremely inefficient and you won't be able to scale and land in infographic placements or guest post placements that you don't actually control. For example, the sheer power and multiple uses of Scrapebox, guys, it dramatically changes all my internal processes and workflow and speeds things up at an exponential rate. The key is the know-how and exactly what to search in Google and to then use those results for your marketing strategy. And in these videos, I'll go over exactly that. We'll go over automated scraping with tools such as Scrapebox and G-Scraper from a complete fresh install to advanced multi-threaded scraping with hundreds of proxies. That's when we scale out and then go to hundreds of thousands of URLs a second. I'll also show you manual scraping, which is completely free and easy to do and requires no servers or proxies or any of that stuff just to actually scrape your URLs. So in essence, automated scraping is simply using programs such as Scrapebox or G-Scraper to then harvest in thousands up to millions of URLs a second, depending on how many proxies you actually have from Google for things like mass outreach, for backlink or infographic placements. I spoke about guest post placements, broken link building, cold emailing for your services. Again, you can find business contact information with a kind of footprints. We'll go over later on in the series. And also you can actually find seed URLs to then scrape those URLs for expired domains. So you can use things like Xenu, Scrapebox, you know, hundreds of domain miners out there to actually find expired domains. Now the big issue with this is it requires a server, a software license, again, Scrapebox, G-Scraper and proxies so it's not as cost effective as you know manually scraping Google and doesn't actually promise 100% accuracy as Google will actually go out there and ban the proxies or throw up a capture or timeout errors, which means when you actually search the URLs, you won't get all the results as proxies are getting banned and things. So going over to actually manually scraping from Google, you know, not many people know how to actually do this and you guys know my background of working at a white hat SEO agency, I had to kind of find my own processes and methods because I wasn't allowed to use black hat tools. And I had then eventually made this method to actually find the URLs manually. And this requires no servers, no proxies, no scraper licenses, or even really any technical knowledge. And it's 100% free to do, and you can pretty much just start straight away. There's no messing around with Google captures, timeouts, causing you to miss crucial URLs. You know, imagine if you're doing a citation audit and you use Scrapebox and you missed crucial citations that you needed to change, or you're doing link outreach or scraping for local business information, and then, you know, it timed out and you missed that information. You know, that would be detrimental to the campaign. It, you could have actually landed that client if it didn't time out and you didn't miss that URL. Again, manually scraping, it actually shows the position of the URL in the SERPs. And this is handy for what I'll show you later on in the series is you can actually harvest local business data. So you can actually craft mail merge campaigns or cold email campaigns based on their position in Google for any given key phrase. So you'll be able to actually tell them, this is your name, this is your website, this is your search position. And you can send out 5,000 emails where on that particular SERP, you rank 33 for Croydon Roofing, you know, would you like to speak to me about then getting you hired for that particular phrase? So yeah, so manually scraping promises 100% accuracy, there's no real costs, and you can get started right away. In this video, we'll go over how to scrape Google manually. Essentially, you'll only need three things to do this. You'll need the Moz SEO toolbar for Firefox or Chrome, which will allow you to export the SERPs. 
and you'll need to turn off Google Instant Predictions and set in Google to show 100 results so you'll be able to have 100 results per SERP. And then you'll be able to simply search for your query and then click Export SERP Analysis to CSV. So essentially, after you've exported the SERPs, what we then do is use the command line to merge all of the exported CSV files into one master file, and then we then open that master file and manipulate it in Excel. What I really do is I just get my VA to Google 100 times the phrases that I want him to have, so that will then produce 10,000 results if you then merge 100 CSV files, and then I'll then use that merge CSV file in my strategy. But now I'll actually show you everything over the shoulder so you don't miss any important steps and you can see exactly how it all goes together. So again, super easy, just head over to Google, search Mozbar, click the top result and then go ahead and download that. So I'm downloading this for Chrome as that's the web browser that I'm using. So it's a simple case of pressing add extension and then you can see it's been added to Chrome. So we're now heading over to Google with the Mozbar extension enabled and we're searching for the particular phrase that we want to export. So in this example, I'm going to search Croydon Roofing. Now what we need to do is we need to actually set Google to show 100 results so that we can export the SERP using the Mozbar and we'll obviously have 100 results in our CSV file. So we head over to the cog on the right hand side, then click search settings and then you want to click never show instant results and then drag it over to show 100 results and press save. It will then send you back to the SERP to which the DAPA and the Moz extension will load for every single result and you'll be able to export at the very top. Uh, it says export this SERP to CSV and then it's simply a case of doing that and then opening the CSV file in Microsoft Excel. So we're going to throw this up in Microsoft Excel and as you can see I'm just going to delete any fields or any columns that I don't actually need because really all we want is the position, like I mentioned before, it shows you the position of every URL, which is extremely handy when you're doing outreach. So as you can see, I've deleted everything that's irrelevant. We just have the positions and the URL, and there you have it. What it's the case now is heading back over to Google and downloading multiple lists, and then actually being able to merge them together. So you're left with thousands of URLs entirely for free, directly from Google. The next step is to just simply head over to Google, search for multiple key phrases. For this particular example, I've done Manchester roofing, Birmingham roofing, London roofing, Croydon roofing, and we're actually gonna merge all of these files together. Now the first thing you need to do is head over to your local disk or your local drive with Windows installed, create a new folder, and place those files in this folder because then we'll open command prompt and we'll then do a CD, which is basically change directory to this quicker location so then we can then merge them together. So the next step is to now open command prompt. So we go to start, run, and then simply type CMD to which then it will open command prompt. So it's simply a case of typing CD space C colon backslash ID3. So that will take you to the directory and then you simply type copy space star dot CSV space merge dot CSV and then press enter and open that merge CSV file. So this will be a merge of all the files and again, we're deleting all of the rubbish content, you know, all of the columns that we don't actually need for our campaign. And for this example, I thought it'd be cool for our outreach campaign to actually put the key phrase they actually rank for that position next to the URL. So I've merged all of these together and I'll be able to send them an email with their search position, their website, and the exact key phrase that they show up at that position. So this is just one of the many uses of this technique and you can actually use this technique for hundreds of other things. You can do this for you know, blog comment outreach, you can do this for infographic placements, guest post placements. You know, the possibilities are endless because these URLs are directly from Google and they're indexed in Google. And you know, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've had lots of fun making it. 
and I'll see you guys in the next video.